What's up everybody? This is Scarfather123 here, back with another video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to burn movies on a DVD or disc and play it on any DVD player. <laughs> So yeah guys, like I said, you'll be able to play these DVDs on any DVD player. If you don't know how to download movies to begin with on your computer, go in the link in the in the description below and you'll be able to go to my previous video on how to download movies for free. And then you'll be able to do this step. So over here I have a few movies that I've downloaded previously, The Amazing Spider-Man and all these other movies. So I wanted to put them on a disc to be able to watch them on my TV if you just have a DVD player and you can't and you don't want to watch it on your computer screen and watch it with other people and whatnot. So this is how you're gonna do it. First you're gonna want to go onto your internet browser. So I'm going on Safari. And you're gonna want to go on Google. Now if also I will have a link in the description to this below so that you can go and download it and we're gonna go download a program called burn so we're gonna go on google and type burn mac and we're just gonna hit enter because right now i am on a macbook pro and over here you're gonna say burn dash home you're gonna want to click on that and you'll go to a screen similar to this one now over here it's going to say download burn you're going to want to hit this and it's going to go into your downloads now i already have this so i don't need to download it anymore and we're just going to minimize this now once you get it out of your downloads folder it should look like a file similar to this one burn 251.zip or whatever version you get when you see this and you're going to want to double click on this and it's going to basically extract the contents of there onto your desktop so we no longer need this file over here and we get this we open this up and it's going to have a few things inside it's going to have burn which is the actual um, program we're going to be using and just some information what i always like doing is dragging any program first into the applications right here so i'm going to take this and drag it into there now i already did this so i'm not going to be doing that and it should appear like this into your applications and then after you can use it from your applications from your launch pad over here or you can just drag it to your dock over here which i have done burn and then we no longer need this now we're going to actually open this up right here. And when we open it up, you should see something similar to this. You're going to click on video. Once on video, you're going to go here and click DVD video. Once you do this, you're going to go into your burn preferences. Now burn and preferences, and you're going to want to go to video. Now in video, this is very important, you're going to change the region from PAL to NTSC. This is very important because if you do not do this, that's the reason why a DVD player won't read these discs and it's just going to think it's a disc with information on it. So we're going to just go in the region and change it to this. And then we're just going to exit this out. Now that you've already changed this to DVD video and the preferences to NTSC, you're going to want to actually drag your movie into this area. So I'm going to be dragging the amazing Spider-Man.mp4. And it's going to say, would you like to convert, convert that file to MPG? You're, you're going to hit convert. And you're just going to put it wherever you want. I'm going to put it in desktop and hit choose. Now this might take a while um, depending on the size of your file. Mine is a two gigabyte file so I will be back when this has actually finished. 
Alright guys, so I'm back. The converting has already finished and your screen should like look like this one with the movie in here and this should say untitled and with this over here on the desktop now we're gonna go into the title and actually change the name so I prefer changing the name to the movie of course because that's what we're putting on the disc so I'm gonna put the amazing spider-man and mine was a 1080p movie so I'm gonna just throw that in there now that's the main important parts you need to do next we're going to have to insert the disc now you can get these at staples that's where i went and i got a pack of 10 i don't even remember how much it cost because that's how long they lasted me and it should say dvdr and it should say 4.7 gigabytes 120 minutes so it's great um as you can see this is on um, 4.7 gigabytes which means you don't you aren't restricted to putting one movie on a disc you can put multiple movies but you just cannot exceed 4.7 gigabytes so roughly you would be able to put um, probably up to maybe even six movies on here if each one is um 700 MB and yeah but for the sake of time, I only put The Amazing Spider-Man, and this is already 2.51 gigs. So we're going to insert our disc. And as you can see at the bottom, it says Super Drive, no disc. Now what should happen is that the it should start reading the disc, and I believe the disc should pop up on the screen. So let's just wait for that. And as you can see, it says open with blah, blah. We're not going to open it with anything because it's already here. And we're going to click ignore. And then we can go into burn and preferences again. As you can see over here, we can actually set a theme for it to use. So when the movie starts up um, on the computer it should look like this or whatever you can change this up and probably get more or just make your own I'm just gonna leave it to default format normal blah 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 and then we're going to hit burn now over here it's gonna tell you the speed now what I've noticed is that a lot of people like putting the lower speeds and that's because it'll make it better like it takes more time into actually I guess burning it onto the disc rather than doing it very quickly so people do not recommend eight times speed and two times speed would be the best one it just takes longer I'm going to use four times speed and then you're just going to hit burn now this second process is gonna take a while so when this is done, I will come back and show you guys the results. All right, guys, I'm back. And as you can see, it did finish. This is what actually popped up on my screen. It showed the DVD over here. This has finished already and it opened up my DVD player. So that means everything went smoothly and it ejected my disc. Now, here it is. I'm going to put it back in and see if it actually plays or not. Now, since I am using a screen recorder, I do believe it's going to blur out the image because it doesn't allow um, DVDs to play and you record them. So let's just see what happens. But yeah, guys, this is how it's going to pop up. And as you can see, it should be playing right now. Trust my word, it's going to work just fine. As you can see, this is the DVD. It read it and the DVD player popped up. So that's how you know it legit worked. But yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. This has been another Scarfather 1, 2, 3 video. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Comment in the comments below. Tell me if this worked for you. Um, if you like this, if you don't like it, was it simple for you to do? and yeah just leave me any feedback you guys want but yeah guys and always subscribe to my channels for more videos like this one i will be doing one on how to do it for windows 
in case you guys don't have a Mac. But yeah, guys, catch you guys next time with the next video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. And enjoy your videos. Or movies. Peace.